Chief, Chief, there's a survivor inside. A child. She claimed to be the daughter of Miss Miss Collins. Roger that. We need to take her from the custody for the mental recovery. I'm sure she's traumatized by what happened here. I'm, after that, we can start asking her. Okay, sir. Formative. Okay. Investigator Collins, hurry up! Yes, I know! Come on, let's go!
Sorry, investigator Collins. This is my first time seeing this kind of murder. That is not an excuse, mister. Do your job.
doctor said that you can hit your head and get unconscious. Also, I got a bad news. You remember the man that you asked me to chase? It turns out that he is a drug pusher and investigator that I gasped is in charge of that case. And the next morning, investigator that I asked me was found dead. What happened here? We're still in Mr. Parker. We're still investigating what happened in here, Mr. Parker. Where is investigator Collins? In the hospital, Mr. Parker. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. I think the demon killed him. Because his internal organs were messed up. And there's an old saying, see you. So he was not the demon? Ugh! I'm so dumb! I prioritize my gut feeling! So we're back to square one in the demon murder case, huh? So how long am I going to stay here? The doctor said for a week. For a week? How troublesome. This case is taking too long! Don't worry, Mom. We will find the killer. But before we do that, please take care of yourself first. Okay. Now, I need you to check the records of everyone in the department and tell them when I got discharged here. Yes, Mom. Okay. Investigator Collins. Yes? The demon didn't kill anyone this week, which is still a mystery. I think the demon needed to rest because his last victim is investigator Wu. So I'm sure the demon received some fatal wounds in fighting him. I hope we can find him so that this case will be closed and no one will hurt. So Parker, any update? No ma'am. I can't protect him. This is bad. Okay, let's call it a day. Investigator Collins? Yes. Did you hear the news? The demon killed another man. Yes, and now we have a witness. Who? The woman who is supposed to be the man's victim? You're right. Her name is Madison, and we're going to ask her questions right now. Is anybody home? Good morning, ma'am. We are the investigators and we're looking for Madison Smith. Yeah, that's me. Why? Um, can we ask you some questions about what happened last night? Okay, come in. First question, 
Are you familiar with the person who attempted to rape you? Yes. He's my co-worker. His name is Raphael. How well do you know him? Could you possibly give us information about him or how he treated you in the office? I don't have much information about him because he was only new to the company. At first, his treatment was okay. But as time goes by, I saw him staring at me with his malice eyes. At that moment, <laughs> oh. Okay, moving on. How about the person who killed Raphael? Did you see the person's face? We can have a sketch of him and find him. Her name is Eurydice Watson. She was in prison for murder and got out a week before demons started killing. You're right! Eurydice! That's right, Parker! Wait, what? Do you know her? Um, yes. She was my client before. Sadly, she was a victim of gang rape back when I was still new. But if she's a victim, how can she be the demon? After she got raped, she despised all men, and when we captured the suspects, she managed to kill one of them using a knife. So, because of that, she was locked up in prison for murder. So, according to her family, she turned her back on God and tried to worship the demons. How horrible, right? Okay, what now? We will go to her house and investigate her. I hope we have the right decision now. Oh, Miss Collins, is that you? Oh, hi, Eurydice. How long has it been since we last met? I think it was five years. And who is that boy? Is he your boyfriend? Oh, him? Don't be silly. He's not my boyfriend. He is my assistant. Oh, so why are you here? Um, can we ask you about something? Because we need information. What's happening? Okay, fine. Come on. Neighborhood. 
It doesn't mean I did something bad in the past. I will make it again. I really tried my best to change. And I think it's good to know that I did it. Okay. That would be all. Thank you for your cooperation. You're welcome. Investigator called. <laughs> Do you think she's telling the truth? We're about to find out. Investigator Collins, you have a fever. You need to go home and rest. I stay here for the night. No! I need to investigate Eurydice! I'm so fucking desperate to know who is the fucking killer in this but case! But how can you do this if you were sick? You need to go home and rest! Don't worry. I can handle this. Trust me. Okay, fine. Just make sure that you will get evidences. Really?
Yes, this is nothing. So, did you see the demon? Is she in your dice? Unfortunately not. The demon is someone else that we don't know. So, did you see her face? Does she tell you something? No and no. She was looking down and it was dark in here. But I saw her wrote the note with her right hand and just the knife with his left hand. Sorry. I let her escape. She's right in front of me. I just... I should have just shoot her. How stupid I am. Okay. Look at me. Don't blame yourself. You did everything that you could. Just being alive after an operation means you did well as an investigator. It was my fault for leaving you behind. I will take responsibility for this. I'm sorry, Parker. The reporters went by and they need your opinion on this topic. Oh, okay. They suggested that you write it on a paper and I will deliver it to them so that they cannot interrupt your schedule. Mm, okay. but I can't cook. My parents would not go home until the next day. But it seems that you're busy, so I'll just buy instant noodles. Oh, okay. But I'll be glad to cook. Let me see the ingredients. Really? Thank you, Ma'am Zari. Oh, it's nothing. And would you please stop calling me, Ma'am? Zari will be fine. Uh, okay, okay, uh, okay, Zari. Okay. Hmm, I see. Don't worry, I can make something out of this. Really? Yeah. That's great.
Sorry. Wake up. Are you okay? I followed you. I just want to assure that you will get home safe. Could you please take me to my house? Because I felt dizzy. I'm sorry. I think it's my fault that you collapsed. No, it's okay. It's not your fault. Um, can I have a glass of water, please? Okay, sure. Wait for me. Here it is. Do you need anything else? Thank you. Um, actually, there is. Can you stay with me tonight? What? Are you sure? Yes. I don't want to be alone. I I'm scared. Okay. Don't worry, I'll be here. We'll talk tomorrow, so we'll get to sleep now. Okay. Good night, sorry. Sleep well. Thank you. Good night, Parker. Wait, what? You told me to stay here for the night. You told me that you don't want to be alone. I did? I'm sorry. I can't remember. So, Zari, can we talk about the killer? Yes. What is it? Did you found her? I have an idea. And I have a question to you. What is it? Zari Collins? Are you? about this case and if you're not that is okay leave i'm not joking sir. i have a full evidence that you are the demon but it looks like you're even not aware of it evidence are you sure about that since when did you start investigating me way back after yurita's boyfriend was killed
I have a question for you. Are you out of your mind? I am the investigator. Why the hell would I do that? When I remember that every time that the demon had another victim, you were nowhere to be seen. So I assumed that you were the demon. Also the time that you were hospitalized for a week. And then the demon didn't kill for a week? Coincidence? I also did some testing observations. Yesterday, when you wrote something for the reporter, I just made that up. I wanted to see your penmanship and what hand you use for writing. And yes, both are the same as the dinner. And when I asked you to cook for the dinner, it was just a show. I can cook. I just want to know what hand you are using. That's not all, Zari. Last night, when you asked me to get you a glass of water in the kitchen, I saw the kitchen knife. The kitchen knife was the same as the demon used. Stop talking. Please. Also, I investigated your house. I saw a black jacket soaked in blood. I said, Stop! you were talking about a while ago. Nice to meet you. Pardon. Zari and I share within this body because she is the one who created me. But it looks like Zari can't handle the fact that the great investigator and the suspect is the same person. <laughs> what do you mean? What do I mean? Didn't Sari tell you? When she was just a kid, her parents got killed by her friend. So because of that, she started to hate the world. And then, I was born. I owe her my existence. So because of that, I killed the man who murdered her parents. But, I think that is not enough. So, I'm killing those men who has the potential to repeat what happened to Sabi. Because, you see, the world is dark and full of things. So, are you the one who killed all the men that left the note? Yes. Why, dear? You see, I don't really want to kill you because Sari really loves you. You're under arrest.
What? Where am I? <laughs> Finally. You're awake. Uh, looks like I can kill you with my own hands. Because Sari might fight back, so... <laughs> I decided to blow you up. <laughs> Let go of me, demon! Ah, I can't die here yet! Sorry! I know you're there! Fight back! You can do it all day, but it's not going to work, but... <laughs> you think you're special because Sammy loves you? You're naive. As always. <laughs> Stop this! <laughs> you will only make Sari more devastated if she finds out that the demon is inside of her. Hmm. Silence! She don't know anything. She was alone at that time. And I was the only one who knew what's better for her. Demon, where is she? I don't know. You mean the demon? The demon is with us. Where is she? Tell me. I I need to arrest her. Shit. What are you talking about? You don't know? No, what, Parker? And why the hell are we in this place? Please, tell me what's going on. You are the murderer, Zari. You are the demon.
You can run, but you cannot hide. <laughs> Sorry is dead. Who the hell will do that again?
So what do we got here? Based on the samples that we got, we are able to identify the victim. And based on the victim's family, the victim was a man who was recently divorced because he was having an affair with another woman. Really? So there is a possibility that the suspect is his former wife or a woman who has a affair with I got the profiles of the two women. Shall we go? Okay, let's call it a day, Alex. Let's continue this tour. Okay. Oh, maybe I forgot to lock this in the morning.
Anong oras na po? Nagsushoot pa rin kami. Ang sakit. Turn off. Miss Morgan was a boy. And I would like to say to my mom that this video is a proud wife. Mom! Oh my gosh! Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Mom, mom. Bye. 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 Hello, 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 Pizza. Yee, pizza. Tapos chocolate ko. 
Yes. Ito po yung yan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, so, ito rin po yung <laughs> Breath. Kapag gano, bakla kasi ito eh. Baklang bakla ka na naman. Ay, ang gay, Jay. <laughs> ano, sinasabi mo? Bobby. Bobby, Bobby. Spotlight. Spotlight for your bike. Thank you, po. Sa next po, sa next spotlight. Thank you, po. Flashlight. Wala na po. Mahal dyan. Hi, guys. Malapit na tayo matapos. Push na natin to. Knocks naman. Do you want? Push lagi. Push lagi.